best way to approach practical stations is to go back to the elements of competence and think about the practical scenarios we could give you based on the elements. You'll definitely be given a station on indirect ophthalmoscopy, so it's important you revise that and you'll be given an anatomical head and you've got to see some symbols at the back of an eye. We will use models and anatomical models if something would be invasive, but you might also have to do something practical on a real patient if it won't disturb them too much. Best candidates for practical stations maintain their core basic manual skills. It can be quite easy in the pre-reg to become a little complacent by using automation or by using colleagues to do certain elements of the test for you. Now, remember that in the OSCE you can be tested on quite key manual basic skills, so it's important not to let these decay and not to rely too heavily on automation and colleagues carrying out parts of the test. Also, remember to look at the candidate guidance that's sent to you prior to the OSCE, where you'll have an equipment list detailing the different types of equipment and models you could get. Remember, we might not be using exactly the same slit lamp or keratometer or any other type of equipment that you might have in your practice room. Remember that we're signing you off and the next day you could be in acting as a locum and going into any practice in the UK which might not necessarily have the equipment you had in your pre-reg or you might just have your trial um, frame, your lenses and your ophthalmoscope and retinoscope. We need to make sure you can be just as competent with these, um, with these equipment rather than using all automated.